Hello, I'm Ron Clark. I'm bringing you a little addendum to Lesson 4. What I'd like to do is talk about um, two or three different experiments that I suggest for you in the interim until Lesson 5. Um, first, it has to do with charging an object with the autonyli. Now, this is very simple, very straightforward. Uh, you simply accumulate uh, the autonylite, as in lesson four, and project it into an object, uh, like a crystal or a rock or an object from your, your altar, a little altarpiece. Any little object that is going to be fairly familiar to you in your life. Okay? Just repeatedly um, use the, the, the full form um, to generate and project um, auto my light into your object and thus charge your object over time. You don't have to do it all at once. You can do it several times and each time adding to the energy you've put into the object. Now it's important that as you're doing that you uh, program the auto light to stay in the object, not to dissipate, not to, you know, radiate out into the universe, but to stay in the object. So do that several times until you you can sense that you have a charge of auto light in your object. And you know, as an altarpiece, it's very good um, to have something that's charged with the auto light on your altar uh, as a piece for your pocket. It's very nice to have the auto light right there and accessible if you ever need it. Um, the second experiment will be a healing experiment in which um, it's a really targeted type of healing. Say you've hurt your toe, you will project the accumulated auto light into your toe with the intention of it healing faster. Um, and so, if it's a friend you're working with, you make them the target, that specific area of their body the target, so that it increases their healing. It's very simple, very straightforward, but I want you to experiment with that and see if you have any success. It's best to start with experimenting on your own body, because uh, you can then tell, you know, whether you're succeeding or not. Um, otherwise, have it be a close friend that you can communicate with and, and tell them that this is what you're doing and see if it makes any difference. Okay, the third experiment has to do with time. Um, so ordinarily, these experiments I've told you about so far have been in the present moment. You are charging your object right now. You are uh, healing this uh, person right now. But in TMO, you, uh, because you send it out to the fabric of the universe, it's touching on all of time as well as all of space. Okay, so if you want to help something that is yet to occur, you send it out, and as you're sending it out, you locate uh, that occurrence in time and have it come back, rebound upon that moment in time space. So, for example, um, the lessons that I have recorded, all, all the things that I have recorded, I'll do TMO beforehand, and I will send that energy out as a blessing, if you will, um, for that recording, so that the recording comes out okay, so that I uh, don't destroy the camera in frustration <laughs> um, while doing my recording. Um, so, what I do is I project the Adonai light out to touch upon, to see, to find that moment in time when I'm doing the recording, that moment in the future when I'm doing the recording. Send it out and then it rebounds to that moment when I am recording. Okay? That's very handy. It works pretty damn good so far as I can tell. And let's see. Okay, I, I guess that does it. Uh, 
uh, please do experiment with these things and see how they work for you. Um, it's no good just doing something without knowing whether what you are doing is effective, because otherwise it's you're just fooling yourself. So, test it. See if it works. Go for it. Start with the object, you know, um, charging up an object, then healing a little bit, and then work with time in this way. Okay, that's it. Okay.